Merry Christmas, everybody. This is a little bit different video. We are going to do a video on five things that I think are good Christmas gifts for farmers. And Mrs. Brown's gonna do... Five things that I just like. That we think are good Christmas gifts for the other side of that equation, the farmer's wife. So, let's get started. fuzzy socks or boot socks. Next. You're so quick at unwrapping. <laughs> this is a good book or a library card. Okay, so library card's free. And this book uh -oh. <laughs> it was a lot because it's a new release. $20 value there. Yeah. I like the free part. The free was for me. Yeah, I mean, you can read as many books as you want to and not pay the $20, and... Yeah, but I think if I would have got you a free uh, library card, you'd have maybe been... Okay, I anyways. I, I like going to the library and doing the library activities. Okay. Moving on. Next gift. This is actually your Christmas gift that you found. Brian hid it from me in my car. I accidentally oh. opened it up in travels. Anyways. It's like a, a key ring that you can just slip on with your keys and your cards and your cash because I don't like carrying a purse. So that was a $10 value. <laughs> I like cheap gifts. Not hard to buy for. And then my, my next gift, this is a little less cheap. It's Ooh. maybe like an Apple Watch because I like it last year's Christmas gift, I think. Or an iPad. I feel like everybody has an iPad though. Really any kind of tablet or sports or smartwatch, probably. Yeah, I really like my Fitbit. But yeah, some sort of electronic. And last but not least, if she will not be offended by this. Yeah, this is a little risky. I like my air fryer. I think it was like $60 at TJ Maxx. Because I like TJ Maxx. <laughs> so everything Mrs. Brown has laid out here could easily be found very last minute. Because I know how we roll as farmers. I'm still shopping and it's seven days before Christmas. So she found one of her gifts. Kind of got through a kink into that. Any honorable mentions? Lingerie? Huh? Huh? I like massages. <laughs> and I like a bottle of wine. And I like chocolate. And I like bubble bath. Stuff. What would you recommend guys not buy for their wives? Lingerie. Okay. <laughs> or like cooking accessories, which you had? I mean, I really like it because it makes it easy to cook dinner real fast on like practice nights. But it could also be a little bit offensive. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I like gift certificates. I like to pick up my own clothes and my own stuff. So after 10 years of marriage, one thing I've noticed is when buying a Christmas gift, it is best to buy things that they like and not things that you want them to like. That's Mrs. Brown's five items. Like I say, everything here could be found very last minute, probably found at most, most shopping stores. Also, I bought this at a small business. So, supporting local. My friend made this, so supporting local. Um, that's not a small business. That's also not a small business, but I like shopping small too. Okay, so here are my items for shopping for a farmer. First I have, like everyone sees me wear this all the time and I always ask, what is it? It's a Bluetooth headset. There's many different style Bluetooth headsets, but these are awesome. Driving a semi, driving a tractor, I use it for hearing protection a lot. Uh, you're always around uh, loud things like, like children, wife. <laughs> children, wives, augers, machinery. A Bluetooth headset is, uh, as soon as these quit working, I go buy another one. Now, they, full disclosure, they're all pretty much junk. They last six to eight months and then you can't hear out of them. People can't, you can't hear, people can't hear you talking on the phone, but 
I consider these just a necessity. But these things can be had from anywhere from probably $50 for an okay one. I mean, you can buy some $10 ones that are not good at all. Um, the LGs, that's what I usually use. They are uh, 100 bucks. One other thing I always have with me is a coffee cup. There are many different brands, but we're going to talk about the lid specifically. This is a Yeti lid, and this is on a, I don't even know what kind of coffee cup, but if you have a 30 ounce coffee tumbler, odds are a Yeti lid will fit on it. And the reason I like the Yeti lid, it's a magnetic top. When I'm in a piece of equipment bouncing around, the other tops all will spill coffee everywhere. The Yeti lids seem to be the best. Uh, they also are the easiest to drink out, in my opinion. So yeah, even if you don't want to spend this stupid amount of money that the Yeti costs, you can buy the lid, which is what I do. The Yeti lid, they are roughly $10, I think. Maybe $5, probably five bucks. Or you can buy the whole tumbler for 30. So third on my list, phone holders. So every piece of equipment you can outfit with a phone holder, usually it's like a RAM mount with some kind of clamping mechanism and it costs like $80. And I don't know about you guys, but anytime I get my phone finally clamped into this thing, which they hold the phone well, like an iron grip, someone calls, texts, or I have to look up something I have to take back out. I never use them after that. I, they're kind of a, a waste, in my opinion. Driving home in our camper, like I just bought the motor home, I just happened to stop at a gas station. I was like, man, this thing drives like a school bus in a hurricane. I need both hands on the wheel. So I just, I, I just happened to stumble on this brand. I'm sure all brands are good, but basically this is a phone holder. How it works, you stick this on your dash, that's a magnet, or actually just a piece of steel. This is your magnet, clips on there, and you get a sticker that goes on the back of your phone, and it holds it well. So I have these, I have four of these things right now, one on a rock sore, one on a tractor, two on a tractor, one on a combine, and then also one on the motorhome. Love them, they work great. Never had a phone fall off of them. And the nice thing is, like, if you just clamp it on there, someone calls, grab it, need a text. You get the idea. Love these things, they're $20. Like I say, pretty much any brand probably is just as good. This is the brand that I happen to find, and it's one I use. Next on my list, power tools. Uh, I'm just holding this one. Doesn't really matter which power tool you get. Uh, every farmer, I mean, cordless impacts were game changers, in my opinion, or airless impacts awesome piece of equipment. I would recommend if you're thinking about buying power tools for your husband or significant other, in order of importance, impact grease gun leaf blower. There's many different other power tools, but those are the ones that we use the most, I would say, on our farm. I mean, these get used for all sorts of things. Anytime something breaks, an impact's getting pulled out. The grease gun gets used pretty much daily, and then the leaf blower is great for not only blowing leaves, but also cleaning off equipment. And entertaining children. And entertaining children. Dax uses it as a bottle launcher. She shoves a water bottle down that thing and poof! But anyways, um, Milwaukee's kind of expensive. So is DeWalt. They're probably on par with being some of the better brands, in my opinion. We have all Milwaukee batteries, so we always buy Milwaukee. But I would say you're looking around a $200 to $300 gift there depending on if you buy it with or without batteries. So next on my list, this is something that I just started using within the last six months. This is called a seven Sparta two pack cup holder. I have no idea why it's called, that's just what the tag says. But they come in a two pack. I haven't used this one just yet, but basically a cup holder that turns any cup holder into being a cup holder big enough for a, a coffee cup. So important for me. Basically, you stuff that in a cup holder, twist that out, and it takes up the space, makes that secure. And then a bigger cup can fit in there. That may seem weird, but in a lot of tractors and semis, you have a cup holder that holds a pop can. It does not hold anything else. It won't even hold like a McDonald's cup. And driving a semi, shifting gears with one hand, trying to drink a Pepsi going down the road is, or a coffee, not advisable. So uh, these things are awesome. I, I'll put a link to all this stuff in our description if I can. Some of it I don't even know how we would find it on Amazon if we can. Try to, show, I guess, show you how to buy them. But also a couple things that were honorable mentions for me. I mean, I could sit here and go through all of our affiliates, like Midland. I mean, all farmers like radios. Yankum ropes, 
or area, but I don't want to turn this into a commercial. Things that I would say are, honorable mention would be like um, air wands, kind of a cheap thing most people don't think about till they need it. Tire plugs, also very cheap. I don't think to stock that until I have a hole in my tire and realize I don't have any more. Uh, and also gift cards to their favorite tool stores. Harbor Freight, that's always a favorite for us. Some people may not like it because it's cheap, but we lose more tools than we break. So, yeah, that's that's our that's our Christmas stuff. Wait, explain your shirt. What do you mean explain my shirt? Just happy deer. Yeah. Okay, so another honorable mention. We hook up our movie projector up here. We just have a big open wall back there, and we have family movie nights. Yeah, so we like a cheap projector, hundred bucks. I don't know how much the arm was. Don't need the arm. It does make the experience a little bit cooler. But that's all for this video, folks. Hope everyone has a happy holidays. We just thought this would be like a, a fun, fun Christmassy video. And we have a house with no kids. First time we've been able to do it. I know it's a little last minute, but trying to do something like this with three kids in the house running and screaming is impossible. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, and we'll see you in the next video. This is a little behind the scenes. Just trying to make this look very festive. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, before we get to the next part of this video, do me a favor if you're still enjoying the video, thumbs up the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Also, we have two sets of winners, so four total winners to announce for the last two giveaways. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, we are giving away Ariat hats and 20 hour gift cards to farmfocus.com. So here's the winners. So from the Lego video, which I think it was Legos for adults. Or Legos for men or something like that. Frederick Chris and Bradley Rune. If you guys are winners, email me and whoever emails can either pick the gift card or the hat. Whoever emails first. And then from the live stream we just did about, well, my procedure, we've got Agent Pig Piggywig and MT Farms. Again, email me.